Hey guys, so I'll be showing you how to get full custom themes on your PSV very quickly and very safely. It's using a utility I wrote called Themalicious, and so let's go try it. Themalicious is actually two utilities, but I'm only showing you one today. So click this link in the description, scroll down, and what you'll need is a PSP with firmware 3.71 M33 or higher, and uh, You'll also need a PC running Windows XP with the Microsoft.NET Framework 3.0 installed or better. Or, if you're running Windows Vista, um, you can just launch it straight away. So, when you've got .NET uh, 3.0, if you're on XP, uh, scroll over to the right side of the page and scroll down and click Download Now. Click on Click here to start download and it'll start in a few seconds. Now you'll need to save the file to your hard drive. So close out of Firefox for now. Uh, right click on the zip you just downloaded and click Extract here. You'll also need WinRAR for this because it makes it easier. Okay, now you can delete the zip you just uh, downloaded and you're ready to go. Now I'm on 3.90 M33 so I'm going to get all my CTFs from here. If you're on a different firmware, you'll need to find somewhere else. I'll try and include some in, in the description. But for now, if you're on 3.90 M33, this is the place to go. Okay. Um, so uh, I like that one. So download that, and the password for this is PSPCTF, and then click on Unlock File. Then click uh, on there to start the download and save the file to your hard drive. So while that downloads, I'll pause the video. Okay, so it's done, and what you need to do now is rename it if it ends with a capital CTF. Okay, you need to rename it to dot small CTF. You understand? Okay, and then open up Theme Malicious 1.01 and double click on Theme Malicious. Choose your PSP drive and click on install CXMB. Now what you need to do is find the theme you just got and drag it onto Theme Malicious. Click on install the theme, and if you want to read that, uh, some instructions I put, I put there. So close that, and if you want, you can remove the theme. You can do this as many times as you like. So close that, and I'll show you what you have to do on your PSP. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on a firmware which is higher than 3.71 M33. So what I'm going to do is turn the PSP off completely and then reboot it while holding the R button. Uh, scroll down to plugins and click on cxmb.prx. Click on back and then exit. So now you need to go over to settings, then theme settings. Click on theme and then select your custom theme. Press X and click on apply. And yes. Your PSP will reboot and hopefully it will, sh it will boot with the custom theme. Okay, so that was my video on how to get full custom themes in your PSP without even trying. I hope you liked it, please rate the video, comment the video, or subscribe to my channel. Any of those would be great, but uh, anyway, thanks for watching.